The Clever Deer Once upon a time, there was a river that flowed through a deep forest. On one bank of the river, they lived a handsome and clever deer. In the river, they lived a wicked crocodile. From the day the crocodile had seen the deer, he wanted to catch him. One day, when the deer was grazing near the river, he saw some bright red berries on the opposite bank. He said to himself, Oh, those berries look so delicious. I wish I could go across and eat them. The deer kept thinking of the juicy berries and thought, If only I could get across. But the wicked crocodile and his friends will eat me the moment I get into the water. Oh, what do I do? Suddenly, he was struck by a great idea. He went up to the edge of the river and shouted, Mr. Crocodile! Hey, Mr. Crocodile! On hearing the deer's calls, the crocodile came up the surface and said in a gruff voice, What is it, dear? Why are you calling me? The deer now stood at a safe distance and said, The king is holding a banquet tonight and is inviting you and other crocodiles. There will be a lot of delicious food there. The crocodile was pleased to hear this. Wow, the king is inviting us? This is unbelievable, he said in wonder. Then he turned to the deer and asked, is the banquet tonight? Yes, replied the deer. The king has asked me to count the crocodiles and report the number to him. Call all the crocodiles in the river and ask them to line up one behind the other so that I can count them. The crocodile called out to all his friends and told them about the banquet. He said to them, Go on now, line up so that the deer can count us. The crocodiles obeyed. The deer then said, I will climb onto your backs and jump from one to the other as I count. You won't eat me, will you? If you do, I won't be able to report to the king and you won't be invited to the banquet. No, no, we won't eat you, we promise, said the crocodiles together. The deer then jumped from one crocodile to the other, counting one, two, three, as he went. He finally reached the other bank and said, Well, thank you, Mr. Crocodile, for your help. This will now be my new home. He then ran off, leaving the crocodiles angry and annoyed at being tricked. And so, in this way, by using his wit, the deer was able to overcome the obstacle of the crocodiles. He lived happily in his new home, feasting on delicious berries and fruits every day.